Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, in this video I will be talking about the bone. In the previous video I have talked about the connective tissue cartilage and in this video let's talk about bone. Bone is supportive and protective tissue. So logically it provides protection to our body. Bone prevents internal injury as all the important and delicate organs they are protected by the help of the bone that we normally call it as skeleton. The bone is hard. It is hard because of the presence of special chemical that is called as hydroxyapatite. What is the formula for hydroxyapatite? It is CA10, PO4, 6 and OH twice. This becomes the formula for hydroxyapatite. The matrix of the bone is in form of concentric ring that is concentric rings they are called as haversian canal the bone has number of living cells and these cells are called as osteocytes and whenever we are studying bone it is called as osteology and the cancer of the bone is called as osteoma so the bone is actually filled with a cavity that is called as lacuna let's understand how to draw the structure of bone here we have taken a small piece of the bone that is the you can say a section a longitudinal section and in this we are going to study the various parts of the bone in T as that is transverse section so this is the outermost covering that is also called as outermost layer of the bone that is called as periosteum and there is a lining inside the inner that is called as inner layer endosteum so outer is periosteum and inner one the pink color is endosteum then we have circumferential lamellae so it has outer circumferential lamellae and inner circumferential lamellae these dots that we can see is nothing but the haversian system the haversian canal as it is surrounded by number of cells osteocytes the cells are arranged in a concentric manner like onion if we look at the onion they are arranged in a concentric ring in the same way the matrix of the bone is also arranged in the form of concentric rings and these matrix is basically presence of a chemical that is called as osein let's try and understand now this we need to understand that in the center there is a bone marrow all this is how you can draw the bone structure in a simplest way and all we need to understand in the center of the bone there is something called as bone marrow and what is the role of the bone marrow is to help in hemopoiesis there are two types of bone marrow red bone marrow and the white bone marrow all these are nothing but the concentric circles that we all call it as haversian canal or haversian system and these are canaliculi and these are Foxman canal the canal which connects all the bone marrows together now let's understand the labeling and description of the bone if it comes in exam what you're supposed to write first thing you will write that the outermost covering of the bone is called as periosteum so whenever we talk about periosteum just remember it is white fibrous connective tissue when i say white fibrous connective tissue it simply means made up of collagen the most abundant protein in the human body and it has blood vessels and nerves second point what you need to write is about endosteum so innermost layer of the bone you can call it as endosteum it is present inner to the periosteum then we have this circumferential lamellae called as outer circumferential lamellae and the inner circumferential lamellae now circumferential means on the circumference of the bone you can say as it is somewhat circular so it has outer circumferential lamellae and inner circumferential lamellae between the two there will be the matrix now we need to understand that the matrix has a special nature what is the nature of the matrix so we can say that the matrix is hard it is solid it is made up of calcium so it is calcified now the matrix consists of special chemical called as osein now we need to understand the matrix you will find haversian system what haversian system is made up of so you can say haversian system consists of two parts one is called as haversian canal and other one is called as haversian lamellae these two things together makes up the haversian system all the haversian canal they are connected to the center that is called as bone marrow bone marrow is rich in stem cells 
these are called as Voxman canal and the canals they connect all the haversian canals to the bone marrow now when you talk about Voxman canal just remember it joins to haversian canal moving towards the next part when we talk about the bone look at this structure this is a general bone and a piece has been taken out and this is that piece which is representing so let's now understand in detail that is the haversian system so let's draw one haversian system now we need to understand that they are arranged in a concentric manner so we draw a circle and this is representing the blood vessels nerves arteries and veins that is present these are the cells these cells are nothing but osteocytes and these osteocytes how they are arranged so they are arranged in a concentric manner and this concentric manner arrangement gives that circular pattern to the bone marrow of the bone so whenever we look at the bone very carefully you will see that they are arranged in a concentric circles and all these bones all these cells osteocytes they are connected to each other so they are connected by the help of canaliculi. so what we can see here these are all the canaliculi which joins all the bones together so as to give the circular look to the bone now we need to see the labeling of the haversian system like that there are lacks of haversian system present in the bone and bone the bone marrow they are having stem cells which helps in hemopoiesis formation of new blood cells the haversian system consist of the haversian canal so logically we need to understand what haversian canal is made up of so we say that the haversian canal is made up of artery veins lymph vessels and it is made up of nerves the cells which are surrounding them they are called as osteocytes these osteocytes when they matured enough basically they form osteo cell that is the bone cell the space surrounding them is called as lacuna which is also called as haversian lacunae and all the osteocytes they are connected to each other by the help of canaliculi what is the role of the haversian lamellae is to connect the osteocytes in a concentric manner so this is canaliculi in this way you can remember the structure of the entire haversian system but while right canaliculi and the space here is called as lacuna now we need to understand that there are two types of bone compact bone and the spongy bone what is the difference between compact bone and the spongy bone the spongy bone will be having less number of osteocytes and more fluid filled matrix but in compact bone there will be more number of osteocytes and less fluid filled matrix so in your exam if you are supposed to write bones what are the points to be covered those are periosteum endosteum matrix haversian system voxman canal and the haversian canal so friends in this way you can remember the entire structure of bone for your exam don't forget to give a like this is sunil sir saying goodbye to you study hard to achieve your goals thank you very much